If you have a low budget and you want to start Google paid ads as an affiliate marketer, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to make money with Google ads if you have a low budget. And I'm talking like 10 to 20 bucks a day here. And I'm going to show you how to find the right keywords, the right niches. And I'm going to show you an example of a campaign I am running now at a very low budget because I want to dispel the myth that people uh, are kind of pitching out there that you need a whole bunch of money to be profitable with Google ads. Now, if you're doing things properly and you have a systematic approach to your media buying, you can actually do it with a low budget. And it's gonna take a little longer. Of course, you're not gonna be getting as much data, but if you have low cost keywords, then you can probably speed up the data collection and you can optimize faster. So I'm gonna show you that in this video. So I am Joey Babineau. I've been doing this for years. Actually, in fact, I've been doing it for over 20 years and I've spent over $7 million on Google ads and millions on Facebook as well as native ads. So I have a lot of experience as a media buyer. And today we're gonna to go into my computer and we're gonna talk about the new Ultimate Media Buying Toolkit that I've developed last month for our Powerhouse Affiliate Premium members. And in this toolkit, we're gonna to talk about the first crucial checklist and how it's the most important when you're creating media buying campaigns. Now this toolkit is actually a systematic approach to how I build my campaigns and test new things all the time. If you don't have a system in place, then you're gonna be kind of like just trying things and hoping it works. But there are checklists, there are things you need to make sure of before you just start spending money on paid ads. And that's the purpose of this tool. So over the course of the next few weeks and months, I'm gonna be also covering this a lot on my public YouTube channel. So be sure to like and subscribe to these videos if they're important to you. And I will share as much information as I can. So today, like I said, we're gonna be talking about the first step in the process, which is niche selection. And if you choose a good niche, then you're actually going to speed up your success rate here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here using a tool today called SEM Rush. Now SEM Rush you can get for free using the link down below in the description. It's 14 days and that is my referral link, but as you can see, I do use this tool. So I, I want to let you know that it is a good tool and we're gonna talk about the keyword magic tool, which is inside SEM Rush. And we're gonna use that to find out some really good ideas. So this is part of the whole process of choosing a niche, but in this case, we're doing it for paid media. We don't have to worry about SEO and all those rules about SEO. We're doing this for paid pay-per-click ads in Google search. So this is the, the tool we're gonna use. Now, what we can also do in this uh, SEM Rush account is we can start spying on other advertisers once we find a niche if we want. But we're not gonna get into that today. We're just gonna find really good keywords. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna come in there and I'm gonna start with the, the words how to. If you search how to in the keyword magic tool, it brings up a whole bunch of stuff. It's gonna bring up a list of over 73 million keywords that have the words how to in it. This tool scours all of the search engines and tries to find data through multiple different channels. I'm not, I'm not even exactly sure how they do it, but they, they do. And you can see now, these are the volume estimates, meaning this is how many people per month search for these keywords. And you can see how to screenshot on Mac, 450,000 searches per month. That's insane. This, this list, like I said, is 73 million keywords. If I had to go through 73 million keywords, I, wouldn't, I would never make it. I, like, it's just too many. So how do I find keywords that I think would be good for my next campaign? Well, I use these filters here. And since we're not worried about SEO, there's only a few filters we need to worry here, uh, worry about. So first is intent. So intent is the intent of the user that is searching um, through Google or through bang.com or any other search engine. If they're doing informational searches, they are really at the top of a marketing funnel and they're much less likely to convert into customers. So we don't really need to do that. That's not our strategy here. We're, we're, we're 
looking for like high commercial or high transactional intent. And these are bottom of funnel. So these people are looking to perhaps purchase something or they're in the process of later in their search for, for certain things. So we're gonna select commercial and transactional and we're gonna apply that. Now next, if we have a low budget, we are also going to sort and filter our keyword bid, which is the cost per click here. Now this is a rough estimate. It's not gonna be exact. There are other tools, including the Google Keyword Planner that will help you in making sure that this information is correct and the Google Keyword Planner is free as well, but it doesn't have the filters that we have here in SEMrush. So we're gonna set this from five cents to 50 cents per click. And that's gonna be our low budget range for this example here okay and we're going to click apply and now what we get is a list of keywords that has dropped from 73 million to 4403 which is a little more workable here so the next step now is we want to look at the volume we're not going to be going for really low volume anything below a thousand so really we're stuck to about a page here of results. Makes it a lot easier now to navigate through here and find some ideas. So how to get rid of a sore throat is number one with 40,000 searches. And I know for a fact as an affiliate marketer who's been doing this for 20 years, there are ways to sell something to somebody that has a sore throat. You could come here to ChatGPT4 and ask what types of products could an affiliate marketer sell to someone who searches how to get rid of a sore throat? And here you go, we'll get a bunch of ideas. You could sell, well, all of these, but you could sell pain relief, herbal teas, honey, essential oils, humidifiers, all of the products that you could potentially sell. And there are health guides, cookbooks, and all of this. And these products can be found on places like ClickBank. If you sign up to ClickBank, you get access to their offers, and they have tons of videos. In fact, if you even search through here, there's probably herbal teas, all of that kind of stuff that um, our robot here told us that could be potential products. Okay, so how to is just one example. Let's look at some other keywords we can use using the same filters. We have coupon. So you can see all of the searches that involve the word coupon, and you can see the cost per click here is very low, so you can start to get an idea of what people are searching most for and what coupons they want. And then you can get an idea of if, if there's an affiliate program available here for you to perhaps promote. Now, one idea here is to promote the sweepstakes style offers, which often have branded companies like these where you can get a free sub or something like that. And these are called sweepstakes style offers. So when you browse or you search through a CPA network, you might be able to find a category here called sweepstakes. You can see here 363 options um, to do that. And you can see Amazon is here. We have cosmetics. We have a whole bunch of different brands here. Mind you, the payouts are very low. So you have to be careful here not to find something that's gonna cost too much. And there are many different places to find sweepstakes offers. I'm not just using, I'm just using Max Bounty as an example. But that's how I would per perhaps approach this type of keyword coupon when people are searching these brands because a lot of those are brands. Another idea is to come in and search cheapest. So cheapest, and you can see what people are searching for, cheapest apartments near me. Now this might seem like, well, how, how could I do this as an affiliate? There are products on financial websites or financial affiliate networks that you can promote that would be rent to own offers or something like that. They're financial offers and you could probably use a keyword like this for 50 cents a click and test it and get leads. And the, the volume here is actually quite impressive for 12,000 searches a month just for that one. Now there's a ton of other keywords here you can look at and, and find more ideas. Now obviously we can't sell Lambos as affiliates um, or it's pretty tough. So we're not gonna go with that, but there are some other ones here. Another idea is if you're specifically in a niche like skincare or you're doing trials for skin and products or anything like that, you could just search the word skin and do the same type of intent based filters as well as the cost per click filters to see some low cost keywords here. So you can find here um, skin tag removal kit. 
Now, I actually am running skin tag right now, and I don't have this keyword in my campaign, which is funny because I should. It's 49 cents a click, and it's skin tags, and there are CPA affiliate networks that have skin tag offers available where you could have a, a ad showing for people searching this, and you'd be paying low-cost clicks at 12,000 searches a month. Fully commercial keyword here. Uh, this user wants to investigate brands or services, okay? So that's a good one. Transactional means the user wants to complete an action, so they want to convert. And again, lots of keywords here with high volume, low cost per click. And this is the United States still. And again, another idea, make money online is one key, uh, keyword area that I use this for. And I told you I'd give you an example at the end of this video. So here we go. Uh, make money online is highly competitive in the United States. You can see that here at $1.68 per click. And so what I've done here is I've filtered for the intent in the make money online niche, but another filter that's really good for this strategy is the country filter. This is a great way to drop your cost per click even more and still get a high volume of keywords being searched. So for me, in, for, for this example, in the campaign I'm running, I'm actually running it in India. And I'll tell you why because the offer that I'm promoting uh, is in the make money online niche. And of course that is powerhouseaffiliate.com where India comes in as one of our top three countries that purchase our product and are part of our membership um, inside our training program. So India is great for the make money online niche because a lot of people in India want to make money online. And so the cost per click here is, uh, as you can see, when I switch to India, it's about nine cents and that's about 13 cents Canadian. So I want to show you what's going on in my campaign that I'm using for Google ads using this low budget strategy. Now the ad group in this one, the first one I set up is ClickBank related. So I noticed by doing my research for this, uh, I was able to, after going through the checklist, find some more ideas that these um, people are searching for that would work in an ad group and like i said earlier in the ultimate checklist there's more than just niche selection here we have a whole checklist of not only finding these keywords but also finding what other types of problems these people are facing one of the things that i discovered was that clickbank is is something of interest there so here's some examples of the cost per click that i'm getting right now we're looking at about 20 cents canadian which is about 15 cents us and getting lots of traffic and uh, click-through rates just for the words clickbank now my offers are related to affiliate marketing so teaching people how to be an affiliate and if they're searching for clickbank then they're likely looking to make money online as an affiliate and so uh, this is how you can do a low budget campaign and still get very decent conversion rates you can see here a 14 percent conversion rate here we have a 10 percent conversion rate so I'm, I'm quite happy with this strategy. It works at a low cost. And I think that if you're looking to get into low cost campaigns, you come in, you find some, some keywords like this and you focus on that niche, but using keywords that you find using this. So you would start with a, maybe a, perhaps a broad search like how to, once you find your niche like sore throat. Now, I don't think sore throat is a good example. I wouldn't go down that path only because of policy issues that we describe in our Google ads course, where you're talking about, you know, a health issue that might require actual medical help. So I would probably not use this as an example, but there are many other things you can find. And if you want to even take this a step further, you could use AI and you could start actually asking AI for more keyword ideas to search for, to find high intent, high transactional searchers that you can use in your low budget pay-per-click ad campaigns. So that is my video for today. If you liked that, please like, comment, or share. And next videos, we'll be going into the next steps of how we start planning our campaigns and how we start building real effective media buying strategies. And don't forget to check the links in the description, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.